Hello, this is Mamita Rahman, the immigration attorney, here to help you navigate the complex world of immigration. This week, I want to talk to you about the fiancé visa interview and what are some interview tips you can keep in mind and other pieces of advice in order to have the mindset for a successful fiancé visa interview. The first tip that I have is be prepared. Make sure to go thoroughly over the checkbooks that the consulate gives to you and make sure you have everything that is asked for. Make sure also to review your actual I-129F petition to go over the information submitted by your fiancé on your behalf. Talk to your fiancé. Go over all of your relationship details because your memory is probably fuzzy and the smaller, less romantic details are usually the first things that we forget, as well as dates. Make sure you go over your dates. Next, make sure you get to your appointment early. If your appointment is at 8 o'clock in the morning, make sure you get there at 7, an hour early, just to be on the safe side. Of course, you may not be allowed into the consulate that early, so take your time, review the rules of the consulate, and take everything into consideration as a whole. Here are some useful things that I tell my clients to keep in mind when it comes to answering questions. Number one, always make sure that you make good eye contact with the officer. Try not to look away or look down because doing these things could be interpreted as you trying to hide something and not being truthful. Number two, always listen closely to what the officer is asking and make sure that your answer is directly responsive to that question. Don't give roundabout answers. Don't give an answer to something that the officer is not asking about. Don't give incomplete answers. And lastly, don't give explanations for something unless the officer actually asks you for it. In other words, keep it simple, keep it direct. Number three, never cut off the officer, interrupt them, or get rude. This is even if the officer seems like they're annoyed or irritated or getting aggressive with their questions. Remember, the officer can deny visa applications fairly easily and getting a denial reviewed or overturned can be quite difficult. So there is no point in getting angry with an officer during the interview. Your entire job is just to answer questions, so do just that. Lastly, number four, always tell the truth. If you don't know the answer to something, let the officer know. Don't make something up because if they think that you're trying to hide something, that will make the matter worse. Consular officers have received special training and conducted hundreds of interviews, so they know exactly what they're doing and you cannot fool them. So when you don't know something, make sure you say that and overall, be truthful and don't lie. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video informative, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can receive the notification of my latest video. If you learned something new about the fiancé visa interview, leave me a comment because I would love to hear more. This is Mamida Rahman, the immigration attorney, here to help you navigate the complex world of immigration. If you want to hire me and create an extraordinary relationship, with an attorney who cares and who will be with you every step of the way, give us a call and let's set up a consultation. See you next week. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute legal advice. For proper legal advice on your case, please call us to set up a consultation.